Great work. hands dirty. They got the drop on us.
Perhaps her boots? Oh, thank the Eternal. I'm Huxley. Ah, uh, Hux, if you're lazy. I'm stuck. My friends and I were scavenging here, and a Mad Queen showed up, then wrapped it on. It was a void blasted mess. I ran in here, and, um, now the door's locked. Little help? than it sounds, all right? Next time you get chased by raptodons, you let me know the rationality of your decisions. Phew. Thanks, mister. My buddy had a key, but I ain't heard him in a while. He locked me in here and took off. Probably got munched. So look for a dead guy, I guess. Or a rapt. Maybe it's an rapt... Sure. Huxley, I'm an Iconoclast runner, THE Iconoclast runner, fast as we've got. Ain't a raptodon on this void forsaken hellhole that can catch me. I'm, uh, I'm, <sighs> sorry, put me in a tiny room like this and I'm liable to flip. Not keen on tight spaces, you know? Oh, that'd be my people, Graham and Zora and Milton and I really miss them. You gonna let me out of here? I wanna get back to Amber Heights. My buddy locked me in here. I told you that. But, I mean, okay, yes, fine. I get myself into sticky situations. It's just part of the life, all right? Oh, uh, <laughs> neither was I. Who'd hide in a trash can? What do you mean? Wait, upward? Oh, my eternal soul, it worked! Ah, phew. Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. Now I'm out here. I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Oh, sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and... Hey, who is your identical, slightly blurry friend? What? I ain't got nothing on me. How's about a heaping helping of appreciation and respect? That's true. Okay, fine. Here. Thanks a lot, mister.
with us. Feels like the old bits outside of Edgewater. You stuff. Visitor? What an unexpected surprise! Please, come in. Come in. 
In my experience, any stranger this friendly either wants to rob an airlock you or sell you something. Nonsense. Out here in the wilderness, we welcome all who come to our door. Now come in, make yourselves comfortable. Excellent. You've arrived at just the right time. My wife is putting the finishing touches on dinner. Please, make yourself at home until it's ready. What a pleasant surprise. And just when I was beginning to fear we'd seen the last of good company for a spell. Yet the Eternal provides, does it not? The Eternal does not desire that we huddle and hide, crowded in by walls. We all share the spark of the Divine, and we were made to spread it across the stars. Out here, we are free. And even apart from society, the universe provides for us, as your being here proves. That they do. Though it's up to us to make the most of those opportunities, wouldn't you say? Look at me, prattling on as if this gravy is going to cook itself. Why don't you run along until we are ready for dinner? What are you doing in my room? Maybe I'll tell Mama and Papa. Then you'll be sorry. You're trying to steal the last of my rocket candies, aren't you? The ones that come in a bottle with a rocket ship on it. Like the other man used to bring. I'm not telling you. There's choice pills that cure all your ills. You must be famished. So are we, my friend, but one can't rush a f Is it sticking again? I'm afraid nothing out here works the way it used to. There's a bit of a trick to jimmying it open. I'll see to it once we've finished dinner. I do appreciate- Oh, hello there. You come for... for, uh, dinner? That's nice. We had someone else over uh, a week ago or yesterday. I forget. It just gets hard to remember things. I recall moments, feelings, but the details slip. I felt like that after my dad passed. Walked around in a haze for weeks. I'm sorry you're feeling that way too. Other times, it's like there's fog. I... Sorry, have we talked about this before? That's nice of you. I usually feel better after I eat. Mama said dinner's almost ready, huh? Uh, 
I hope you favor ketchup and woolly cheddar. We have to make do with what we can find. You must be fam- There's choice pills that cure all your ills. I've seen and made my share of corpses, but this is... But what's this? You're tracking blood into the kitchen. Oh dear. You've been nosy, haven't you? Quickly, my dear. He's getting agitated. We can't let the meat spoil. Don't worry. We'll make this quick. Take your... Killing them felt real good. Think they left anything good behind? I wonder who used to live here. Do you suppose anyone remembers anymore?
down for clean this up, right?
Klasse. of the crew cabin on one of my first ships. You reckon the smell ever goes away? Maybe the wind off the sea helps. Sir, please, I need your help. I, I can pay. Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. It's more dissolving than melting. That is not helpful. Oh, I just knew you were a good person. Agnes, I said, this is the man to save your little Tucky. And I was right. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools and poisonous plants, but he didn't listen. Oh, law, Captain. A youngster won't last long in a place like this. Please, can't we help? Please, won't you go and find my boy? He's been pining for an adventure, says he's tired of living cooped up behind the walls. But he doesn't understand how dangerous it is out there. I warned him, a raptodon would snap him up first chance it got. I just know one's rip his arm off and is gnawing on his sweet little fingers. He should have listened to his mama. I promised I'd keep him safe here with me. He's been listening to those awful broadcasts that the Iconoclasts put out. I begged Sanjar to put a stop to them, but did he? No! And now I just know my boys run off to Amber Heights. That is, if a Manta Queen hasn't spooled out and eaten his entrails for breakfast already! Those low-life degenerates leading innocent boys into a life of danger. Oh, they make it sound so exciting. Like it's noble to risk it all out there, fighting for the greater good. 
How noble is it to worry your loved ones? Not at all. If they weren't holed up in Amber Heights, I'd... That old settlement, southwest of Stellar Bay. I don't know which is worse, the thought of my son shacking up with them, or that he never made it. Sprats could be nesting in his rotting bo Or... or maybe Marauder's got him. Thank you. Oh, you look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouths. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. I think I'm gonna be sick. No! I just stepped in a dead man's blood. And I think one of the flies landed on my mouth. If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me. Sorry, sorry. Just spooked me, was all. Not much I can do for this guy. Got any news from the rest of Halcyon? Whatever you do, don't mention Tossball to Isaac. You'll never hear the end of it. You know, I haven't seen him in a while. Startled me. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? Good day to you. Whoa, by the stars, my poor heart. I just about pissed my jumpsuit. Easy for you to say. You can hop into your spaceship and leave any time. This town is enough to try anyone's nerves. Where should I begin? With the oversized mantisaurs? Or perhaps the rap spewing acid at our walls. The board was right. This place isn't fit for human habitation. And I was a fool for staying. Sanjar, of course. He had all these glorious ideas about how he'd run Monarch. Rest periods between every work shift. No shift more than ten hours long. It all sounds wonderful. Until you realize there's only a few centimeters of repurposed steel between you and the deadliest creatures in the galaxy.
that's what she said. There's truly no end to my suffering. Only every day. But in case you haven't noticed, we don't exactly get ships on a regular basis, yours notwithstanding. And even if I did scrape together enough to buy passage out with sublight, which would mean reaching Fallbrook without getting eaten, shot, or dissolved into green goop, what then? Nothing. That's what. Because MSI is not in what you'd call... The body's in the first apartment on the right. Well, well. The only new folk I ever see in town are sublight runners from Fallbrook. But you don't look like one of Catherine's. What can I get you? All sales are fine. Wrap musk and canid eyes, right here. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in a raptodon tongue? Or maybe some canid toenails? You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts? I don't know. Celia usually buys whatever I have, and Mr. Pickett seemed real interested. So I thought maybe I was onto something. Mr. Pickett? Franklin Pickett from Edgewater? That's him. He'd been here years, but he always talked about going back to Edgewater one day. Sure. Mr. Pickett used to run the community center outside Edgewater. He had this grand idea to make it a museum for Halcyon life. As my dad told it, Mr. Pickett was always going on about getting a Manta Queen for the last display. He left the Vale, gosh, years ago. He came to Stellar Bay years ago, just before the board cut us off. Ended up stuck here. He was always real interested in our monsters. Manta Queens, especially. Sure. 
Captain, can we... Tell you what. Thanks, Captain. All right, then. Leave town through the southern gate. The last mana queen I saw was in the wilds out that away. I don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. Wish more folk could say that. It gets awful quiet guarding a landing pad that never gets used. You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-road traffic, us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing, so here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest sal tuna in Halcyon. Please state your name. Swell. There's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about... And... But that's all... Anyway... Oh! I got this Rizzo's Rangers Tossball poster coming in, only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? That's Bertie Holcomb. I wonder if he's... Everyone's heard of him. <laughs> but... Thanks. Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Have you had time to check? What are the chances of all the times and places we could have been born? Yeah. Did Velma seem out of sorts to you? She's always cranky. No, I mean, more than usual. Wouldn't I? Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Well, if you're that friendly about it, then you definitely aren't one of Catherine's sublight toughs. My mistake. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me raggedly. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sh He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative- That he's got his load on it. That's- 
Wow. I sure feel like an ass now. Yeah, I wouldn't wish that on Catherine herself. Still, it's good to know what happened to him. And that I ought to start looking for a replacement. Something else? Caleb Herrick runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switch. So the job's easy, but you're not doing it? Something smells here. I mean, everything smells in here, but something's fishy. He and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. Because we've got a budget, all right? Not on Monarch. Sanjar threw out the old work mandates and penalties. Sure. Until your workers start making ridiculous... You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the Yacht Club. He's usually there. Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Cellar Bay. Has a mouth like a ground zig spacer. Velma's not so bad, as long as you afford her when she's stressed. Miss Ellie, er, uh, Dr. Finhill, I notice your pistol's been making a funny noise. What are you talking about? I oil it every night. Well, look here. Your slide's not recoiling fully. You might be due for a new spring. I could take a look, maybe fix it for you. Uh, sure. I'm short on bits at the moment, but I'll pay you back. Oh, no. I mean, it don't cost nothing. I got a spare spring in my pocket here, even. 
Everything's got a price. Laws. Can't a man enjoy the smooth menthol flavor of a stogie slim in peace? What I am doing, sir, is enjoying the moment. It's so rare that I can seize one apart from the jabbering masses of this wretched place. This law's forgotten town. Cut off from the rest of the colony. Removed from any culture. I recall when Stellar Bay was a proper board-affiliated town with regular shipments of Auntie Cleo's Best and all the cereals. Before Sanjar took over MSI and got us all booted. Days of consumption and culture. When we weren't squabbling with the iconoclasts for lack of better things to do. Look, you're making me melancholy. Is there something you wanted? Enjoy. If you plan on sitting through Nioka's stories, you might could use a few. I could use a few and tell it on myself. Now what can I do for you? Anyone who spends any amount of time in this bar is bound to get to know Nioka. On account of her being here so often herself. And I don't mean that unkindly. Anyone who's rid us of as many beasts as you have is entitled to a few drinks. Something else I can do for you? <laughs> 